Welcome to Stony Brook Finance Lab channel. My name is Jonathan McGrath, and for our final project, I work with Jack Falzone, Darnell McCullough, Kevin Murthy, and Michael Bucci. And uh, we decided to choose Thimble.io um, as our company that we wanted to study. Um, they consider themselves the answer to STEM education for our children. Um, so what Thimble does, how their product works, um, they, off they offer various kits like the one show here. So if you look on the right, um, there's an option of what comes in a kit when you actually order it. These kits provide students with a basic understanding of STEM. Different kits and parts can be combined by students for endless outcomes. And they offer comprehensive learning at a student's own pace. So basically what that means is that these kits are designed for all types of students, um, whether you're a beginner with STEM or you're considered to be closer to an expert. They offer every type of um, level that someone could use. So the big question when it comes to a company is who really cares? Why would you invest into this company? So at Thimble, um, looking at their website, doing some research on them, we decided that some of the people that would be interested in uh, investing in this company are parents and teachers of students, public officials and politicians, um, anybody who's into the growth with technology of STEM um, to further their children and students' education, and education technology firms. Now, as you know, um, in today's world, everything is about technology and about, uh, you know, I'm constantly improving. So we really do think that every single basically type of person could get something out of uh, using Thimble. Um, the STEM problem is really what Thimble here is trying to attack. Um, basically, U.S. schools are not providing high quality coding and engineering in their classrooms. Schools don't have the resources to teach the necessary skills for success in STEM fields. And teachers and parents don't have the time or expertise to address the student learning gap in STEM. Now, a lot of things, especially when I went to school, we did not learn any of these things. I'm just starting to learn coding now that I'm in my MBA here at college. I think a lot of my classmates could um, agree with me there. So these are things that society needs moving forward. So Thimble is trying to offer this to children so by the time they get older, they know how to use these things already. Um, basically, Thimble is trying to just make this an easier process instead of having to download all these servers and apps that you need coding like our studio and all these other technolo technological apps. Um, Thimble is trying to solve these problems more simpler. So for schools, there's an all in one solutions for launching or expanding STEM programs across all grade levels. Um, to they, by doing this, they'll provide curriculum lessons, classroom kits, staff training, 24 seven access to online lesson libraries and illustrations and assessments. Um, a lot of these kits will include basic circuits and coding, LEDs and controllers, Wi-Fi robotics, weather stations, and more. Solutions are designed around either schools or parents and teachers at home with parents and teachers have access to monthly subscription services. So the target market um, in Thimble is the e-learning market. Um, Basically, anybody that is willing to just learn where society is moving forward. So, for instance, the 1,600 school districts, 131,000 schools, and 57 million students. The e-learning industry is expected to grow 17% for the next three to four years. Only 45% of U.S. schools teach STEM. There is a STEM labor and talent shortage despite the immense need to grow in all areas of STEM. So, if you think about it, you know, less than a majority of schools are actually teaching their kids STEM, and STEM is the future. STEM is what all technology runs on, so that's pretty concerning. Um, that's why, you know, a company like Thimble is trying to really target these markets to keep children moving forward with the way the times are growing in the, in the technology industry. Um, Thimble does comp uh, compete with other kit companies. Um, kid companies lack live instruction, school curriculum, and are less in depth. Uh, the coding schools that exist teach basics through classes, but they lack the hands-on 
material that you would learn with Thimble. And school curriculum providers don't offer many STEM kits or mo modules, and they are usually very basic and outdated. So Thimble's competition really isn't that strong. That's why they're having so much success and growing so much. So the financial situation for Thimble. Um, traction. Thimble has reached 20,000 students in 300 schools, all 50 U.S. states, and in 30 countries, along with uh, 1,500 parent subscribers. They also have district-wide contracts with Dallas, Atlanta, and San Antonio, totaling $3 million in potential. In 2018, Thimble received a statewide contract with BOCES in New York, $1.2 million in revenue since 2015, including 300000 on Kickstarter. Um, if you actually look on the left, we have a little um, picture here. Um, basically, you know, there is a huge market of opportunity here for Thimble. Nobody's doing what they're doing. There is, you know, billions of dollars of opportunity here. Um, they ha Even they have reached all 50 U.S. states and 30 different countries, so they're definitely on the right track um, for potential growth in the company. So Thimble's projections. Um, they do... They are looking to build a school pipeline of 3.7 million in growth accounts. They have a backlog of 10,000 units prepared for distribution. Um, and they are expecting exponential growth over the next few years, hoping to reach 437 schools in 2023 and 1,092 schools in 2024. So if you look on the uh, left, we have a little picture here. And basically, in 2021, they've had 52 schools they've reached. By 2022, they're expected to have 175. 437 by 2023 and 1092 by 2024. Um, so these are, and you look on the left, we have a little picture here. These are some of the um, employees of Thimble. So we got uh, all the way on the left is Oscar Pedroso. He's the founder and CEO. Um, Joel Silly is the head of curriculum and instruction. Rana Yacker is a school procurement specialist. Rebecca Gray is the head of marketing and content. Patty DeRosa is a student and teacher support. And Mark Brandy is the online instructor. Um, so here's some of the deal terms of Thimble. So Thimble has a valuation capitalization of $8 million. In the case of a specified event occurring, the discount rate is 20%. Thimble is scrutinized as a crowd safe security minimum investment of $100. Thimble has a funding goal of $25,001 million with a deadline of February 27, 2022. So with Thimble here, I mean, we can see these are all realistic goals. Um, nothing here is, you know, out of reach. Uh, they Basically, their goal is to slowly build this company. They're not trying to do too much at once. So with these type of goals, they should be able to reach their projected goals. Um, so we do have a few questions for Thimble. Uh, one is, how stable are the contracts attained from schools and districts? What are their terms and durations? Are the margins that you have for your BTC projects, the 77% margins quoted, sustainable? Also, the higher pricing and margins could ostracize certain demographics and students slash families of lower incomes. Is this a concern for Thimble? What are your margins of school contracts? What are your custom acquisition costs? And what are the most important elements in building your teams and designing your operations? So the relevance that Thimble and studying Thimble has to the behavioral portfolio theory is the utilitarian and expressive and emotional benefits. Thimble offers a unique product that is preparing today's youth for the opportunity to explore STEM. Hand-on learning with STEM kits that allow students to express what they learn in real time. Thimble STEM Kits offer a comprehensive learning experience for students that give parents and educa educators confidence. Basically, what this means is that Thimble is using its emotional benefits to grow. They are solely making money and making change, benefiting people. So this is definitely something they feel um, at the heart, and they're doing it because they like to do it. They like to help people. Um, so our summary and recommendation, is this a good investment? Uh, we personally believe investing in Thimble is a smart investment because it addresses a larger problem with STEM in the world of education today. 
the e-learning market is a 275 billion opportunity dollar opportunity that encompasses 57 million students. Thimble has proven itself within their markets by totaling $1.2 million in revenue since 2015. Thimble is on track to reach over 1,000 schools by the year 2024. So given this information, we believe Thimble is a good investment and now is the perfect time to invest in Thimble. The company is, a, is young and its projections are strong because it addresses a problem with today's education system that is being overlooked. And that's our project. Thank you so much. That was um, a little bit about Thimble Inc. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel.